What is going on YouTube? Nuda Bro here bringing you the next episode here in our Killer Frequency Let's Play series. Uh, when we left off, we were waiting to get back with Peggy uh, after the callback from Carrie that we got showing that she got home safe. Um, it has been a massive, massive failure on my end so far. Uh, so many people have died. So many. However, I think this episode, we are going to turn it around. I'm going to be laser focused. I'm going to be such big brain that it will be nearly impossible that anybody will be dead. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump right in, get back on the phone with Peggy and see where this story takes us. Zero deaths. Zero. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. Of course. Okay. <sighs> Zero deaths. Zero. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Right, right. You're through to 189.16, the screen. Zero deaths. What's your emergency? Hello again, yeah, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Yeah, about that. I'll play a track for you, Don, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No, Forrest. You do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Call us back tomorrow when this is all over, Don, I, and I'll gladly play it for you then. No, no, that won't do. Don't worry. I think I can bring you around. Forrest? Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. Oh, my. God, Don. Well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. No. Is she serious, Peggy? Dude, there's She's no way. She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Dude, if she's I got... telling the truth. All right, All right. Yeah. I'll yeah. do it. And now I gotta go outside. You're a good go man, outside. Forrest. I'll Shut slide up, you the key Peggy. to the fire door. I'm sure you will slide it to me. You will. Wait, yeah, wait, God forbid you just open the door and give it to me. No, you'll slide yeah, it, it. Uh, you know, I don't never thought about it. Don't leave the booth. Yeah, we should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway. I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The Scream. With me, Peggy. Give me the freaking, give me the freaking key, Peggy. That's not opening. God. Freaking. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to go outside. I wonder if there's anything else available to me now that the stories progress a little bit. Now I'm locked in a closet. 
Okay. Oh. Oh God, I don't want it. Needs a key. Side. I don't want to go outside. Oh! No, open. Oh, oh, I should have put something in the fucking door. Oh, what have I done? You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered Shut by the whistling man. Shut up. Out here. Shut up, Forrest. Shut up. Shut up. Just. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Here it is. Long ride home. Oh my god. What is this? Oh shit. 30, 5, 50, 50, 70, I don't understand, I don't understand, how do I get back inside, how do I get back inside? Oh, sh I want to live. 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 I don't want to do this. Bro, how do I get back in? How do I get back in, dude? I don't like this. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Another A5? I want to go home. I don't like this. I don't like this. No. Mm-mm. 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 Wait. Look at the wires. So 30. I'm sure, I guess it has to equal 70. So 40. So another 30. Right? Dude. That's not what we want. That's not what we... Wait a minute. I can't... What does this do? Bingo! Oh, I needed to do that. Oh, thank God. Get me out of here.
course. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Oh, Maybe there's another I... way back in through the basement. A, a door, an elevator, or something. Bro, but we already got probably it. Probably survived that fall. Is there anything else back here? Isn't this where the... That's a 20. Okay. There's a bunch of fuses. Isn't this where... That's... No. 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 Okay. I'm going inside. 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 I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Is that a, what is going on in there? First of all, I need you to shut behind me. I don't feel safe. Okay? Thank you, door. Um. Hey. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Dude, why can I not do scary games? I've never played scary. Wait a minute. Chuck Brody. Call for donations. Aunt Chuck. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Former Gallo High's Captain Chuck Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. To help him on his road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Drop tickets in the bucket below. Thanks. What happened to... Marriage? Oh, we would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein on 30th of May, 1970. Best wishes to the happy couple. Congratulations. Crime syndicate impounded. Uh, criminal operation shut down. 24 arrests inside informant walks free. Police have today finally put an end to the long-running car thieving crime syndicate. The arrests were made after a member gave up information on the co-conspirators to investigators. The informant, who asked to remain anonymous and will hereafter be referred to as R.A., has walked free with no charges. More on page 13. Trailer for sale cheap, 10000 So he's probably in the trailer part? What is... What is all this, dude? I have no idea. This is horrifying. Why are you under the desk? Are those keys? Huh. There's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Dude, I don't need that. I'm taking the head though. The head is not mine. Okay. So what's, is there anything over here? Just some flies, okay. Couple of beer cans. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Yeah, seriously. Please shut. Nothing in there. God bless. Can we lock this back? Can we please? Can we please lock this back? I'm just gonna... Put this, uh... Ah. <laughs> um. Oh, 
thought I saw something. God bless. Okay. Going upstairs. Now. I got the tape. And the record. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something did happen. Well, thanks for coming and Clive checking on me, Peggy. Might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So... Oh. 240. 240. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. All right, let's run through this again. We'll just, we have we'll just a play through this board one. You found in a this episode's going to be kind of wonky. Made by our creepy janitor. Our janitor's who you not that creepy. Is the creepy whistling man. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Allen and, and Aunt, Aunt Williams. Williams. Yes. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? That's right. And That's we've right. got to find him. You said there to. are four locations listed there too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the okay. button if you need any help. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, wait, what do I do? How's God it going? dang it, ADHD. So it said something about... We brought it up here. Why would we... Okay. Um. Infamous author. Gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. Is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews warns citizens to look out for suspicious behavior after multiple car thefts. Crime wave of the 70s will be stopped, I can assure you. Well. Um. I don't. Dallas Creek High. There's the trailer park. Dallas Creek High. I don't understand. I don't understand. How's it going? It's gone. I'm ready. I'm Fuck ready. it. Fuck it. We Are already you killed sure? most of them. Just kill them again. Only got I don't care one anymore. Shot at this. I don't care anymore. Do it. I'm sure. Let's do this. Let's do okay. it. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Uh. Chuck Maybe Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Uh, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chuck Brody, listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The whistling man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the whistling man's back. 
We found a list with Did we really just get that? And... Oh God. Did we really just get that? It's today. So this whole time I shouldn't Steve, even been using my brain at all. I should have just been I... swiping. Um Quit talking and run. I I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck <laughs> Jesus. It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? I I is Chuck? I don't know. Where's the gas Hang station? On. We're getting a call. Hello? Chuck? He survived. Chuck! Forrest! Yes! The whole goddamn gas station's we gone We fucking up. saved somebody again. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got oh everyone to follow God, me out. Dude, that Found was so, that was so stressful. Blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it. Oh that my God, we saved somebody again. I don't even know if you guys can see the, the, the trophies that pop up in the uh, great. bottom Forest, man. corner down here. I can't thank you enough, but yeah, I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it, we lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Here's some music while we regroup here on uh, KFAM 189.16. Yeah, let me get some. The stream. Yeah, let's get some. Okay. I need a breather. I need a breather. I really thought I was going to kill that guy. There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. Peggy, and if that's I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, Stop Peggy. Stop the killings before they can happen. Peggy, I don't want to go to the basement. We need to go back down. No. We, we, yeah. We, what is this? We. Right. Yep. Like I said. What is this? I we. need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you I mentioned mean, before. I still no. have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Peggy, I don't want to do this. Peggy, can I just sit in the office and, and play killer shot? I'm kind of killing it right now. I don't want to go down there. Peggy. Peggy, talk to me, Peggy. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to go, Peggy. Okay. 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 I fucking hate you, Peggy. You fucking bitch. Hmm. A key. Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Not basement storage. Oh God. Oh, you fucks. Where is basement storage? Uh, is that at the end of the hall? I have my bim bam and I know how to use it. Get the fuck back. Oh. Of course, it's another office. Oh. Hey, Forrest. Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Fucking. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. I'm gonna fucking die. Hey, tape. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give There's... it a play. Peggy, I don't want to fucking be here right now. Great, Peggy. Actually, Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. What map? Oh, the fucking map. I'm here. stupid. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you
we found something. Peggy. You know, Peggy, there was an episode or two ago where I like actually liked you. Like you were funny, kind of charming, you know. Just a real nice gal. Now? Not so much, Peggy. Not so much. This picture though. Where is that at? In front of the wire? Are you shitting me right now? Are you shitting me right now? Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Dude, this is horrible. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Oh my god. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death... I literally just got chills, bro. I literally just got chills. By the mat, like the carpets. Where's... Dude, <laughs> Why is the lo stop flickering, bro? I'm gonna leave this back over here. Cause I don't need it no more. But I might need my hands for something. What is this? A delivery note for September 2nd. Starling security system. Ricky, no! No, bro. I need all these things, bro. This is radio parts. I need both of these books. Okay. Okay. It's on a cart. Here's some chairs. Okay. I'm going to set that down. I need this. I need both of these. I know I do. I already... Can like it in here, bro. Why is the music doing stuff? Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage, severe okay. blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running without stopping. Don't do that. Oh, come on, bro. I need that. What is this? This looks useful. What is that? Police department prepared by Matthews, Miss Sandra Sharp, telephone call. At 4 a.m., a call was received from, jo from a jogger, Miss Sandra Sharp, reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove out to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene as the as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. I don't have enough hands. Come on, dude. God. Dude, I need all these things. And I don't have enough hands. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Okay. Bro. This is terrifying. Additional 
Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Just like the just like Carrie's leg was. Dude, can I how do I carry everything? I don't okay, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. No, I do, because it's got all the uh, it's got all the other Right? The hospital, the gas station is already done. Ricky's roller and the apartments. Our radio station is on this delivery list. Oh my God, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We are all going to die. Taking this. I can only carry two things. Can I come back down maybe? Dude. Dude. Dude, come on, man. Come on, man. Dude, what am I going to do with all of this stuff? This has to be important. I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. I mean, dude, the book with the security codes just seems really important too, though, bro. I don't know what to... Oh. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. Dr. Sullivan, we need to have a talk. That recording. Shut it off. Dr. Sullivan, isn't that the lady that we... like, helped or whatever the, the la that one time? I guess those are flies. Humpty Dumpty, a story of love and tragedy and betrayal. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. Ooh, a new vinyl for my collection. To newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. None of us are innocent, but I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now that I can save some folk from the worst that I can I don't know do something to make up for what I did back then I guess I didn't kill anyone mind you but that's past mattering now there's more I could say than I should say but my employer made it clear that my family pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, wow. Hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. No, she's usually not. I guess I can come back down here because I need to I need to grab some stuff. Okay, wait. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. 
Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with the report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. This is... Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. It's pretty wrong. How do you suppose That's... they can tell? How can they okay. tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. Did you say? How did his arm get trapped say? in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body? I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. Sandra, the jazz runner? That's right. Yeah. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah, what's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school He's project a reservoir. on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't Bro, make sense. what is going what on? What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. Had to have that been. The sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another yeah. tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe. But then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. She agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense. It sounded sense like Clive. Now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. But why would they want to cover up what happened to George? I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession, not for any killings, but. For playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. That's yeah. crazy. This is crazy. This is actually insane. Already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't oh. know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know. Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident and the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his Dang. office. 
He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. Yep. He was tracking, tracking them, them down, down to save them. them. And that's how uh, we saved the guy at the gas station. Come out with all of this. Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Who would God. that have been? I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Yeah. Sorry, Claude. Do you that's think he everything? Uh, I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? I still want to Someone come back and get the that, that book to see like an codes. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. Okay. Wait, no. <gasps> 3 a.m. We are either like right there where the lady comes back into town or what? Wow. These are some crazy developments we got going on here. So the, the maintenance guy, Clive was paid to cover up a murder or assist in covering up a murder and now it's all coming out and i really need to go back down there to get the rest of the stuff because i really want that maintenance book in case i need those those uh those numbers just saying uh, i I'm, I'm paranoid at this point because i've been screwing up every single one of the like events to save anybody so i might need that because our radio station was actually on that list so that's crazy but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Can we get a Rip Clive in the comments down below? Poor guy. Um, just doing what he could, keeping his family in check, you know what I mean? Yeah. And as always, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.